<laughs> okay. Hi, Virgo. <sighs> so, mantra for the month. Something to meditate on, something to hold on to. Doesn't have to be fancy. You don't have to ohm or anything like that. Duh. What I got for you guys. Are you ready? You ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Damn. No, not like the Kendrick Lamar album or the word that I say like 24 times too many when I get too intoxicated. Or just really angry. It's beside the point. Damn. Like what beavers build. Like Hoover. Mmm. And what does a damn typically hold in and control the flow of? What flows? Or what stops the flow? What does it do? Water? What is water typically represented as emotion? <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel you guys kind of like, but wait, but wait. Let's just see what these guys say. Oh, hey, Queen of Cups <laughs> with the King of Swords. Right underneath, a little bit of a of a battle between the quiet, inwardly held, sensitive emotion and the strong voice of logic. Hmm. I wonder. Let's see where we start off. High Priestess, <laughs> definitely. Okay, so there is a lot going on internally. High Priestess is also ruled by the moon, so emotions are definitely pulling and tugging at you this month, going into the month. I feel like they probably have been for a while, though. This is something that I feel reverberates back some, at least throughout most of this year. Yeah, for the, for, for the majority, most of this year. For some that have been going through the through the hardest, probably quite some time though, multiple years, maybe even upwards of a decade for a select few of you. Um, you've been holding it in, controlling it, keeping it together, being secretive, being secretive on purpose. This is a tricky high priestess. This is a tricky high priestess. And why is she tricky? Because she's scared and has built herself into a prison to avoid conflict, to try to figure things out. Just about all your cards really came out already. There's two more. We're going to get to them in a second. Four is a lot to unpack, though. The reason that you are holding emotion in is you are either deceiving yourself or somebody else. You are looking at a situation like it is a competition when it is not. It's not. That's why you're being secretive. That's why you're holding your emotions in. That's why you've built a dam, a wall of protection, to keep them inside of yourself, to keep yourself cut off from others. And what is it causing you? Anxiety, doubt, feeling trapped. Like you can't go anywhere. I mean, this is an eight of swords that is particularly ruthless. I mean, they're all coming for her neck. But also, they're not real. If they were, can't you imagine? that they would actually be going through her. These are mental constructs. Mental constructs that you are willingly blinding yourself to. When really you need to be asking yourself, what is a useful thought right now? If you're not careful, this dam is going to break. I don't get the sense that's going to happen for a lot of y'all. 
y'all are smart, despite the fact that people accuse you of being robots or not being particularly emotional, y'all are actually pretty good with emotions. Most of the time, other people's emotions, more so than your own. Um, it sort of makes you very good partners. You're very good at sort of pulling apart and then reassembling feelings. Most earth signs are. Earth signs are feminine signs. That offends a lot of people. Did you know the back around the 70s, during that New Age movement, uh, certain astrologers used the day and night comparison. Instead of saying a sign was feminine, they said it was night. Instead of masculine, they said it was day. I kind of personally like that organization a little bit better. Let me know what you guys think. You guys really like organization. Let me know. Um, yeah, I know. That was a total stereotype. What do you think astrology does? Sillies. <laughs> um, tangent. Sorry. God. I, uh, yeah. Uh, for the most part, though, a lot of this is unnecessary. Keeping the emotion in, there doesn't have to be a big explosion. Um, there's not one coming up, it's really just anxiety. If you just melt away this anxiety and allow yourself to ask questions. To admit that you don't know. Do you guys know how in fucking incredibly sweet you guys are when you admit that you don't know something. Um, I have a Virgo friend. Exceptionally smart. Super duper talented. In almost every area of life. But there were a couple where, like, they weren't his strong suit. You guys can kind of come off like assholes a lot, too. So he came to me one day and, like, asked me a question about something in particular that, like, he didn't know. And, you know, because I'm just, like, so used to you guys being so fun and Barbie. <laughs> Barb. Not, like, the doll, but, like, the spike. Um, I was like, yeah, okay, like, whatever. You're so being ridiculous. Are you seriously asking me this right now? And he was like, no. No, I'm serious. Like, I, I really want to know. Tell me. And I swear, right then and there, my heart was like, oh, of course, I'll tell you all of the things. I'll tell you all of them. It's, it's particularly sweet. You guys can be very, very sweet. Sweet, the kindest, sweetest asshole you'll probably ever meet. <laughs> and I've had a lot of Virgos agree with that sentiment. Um, but I love you guys. Shut up. God. Man. Um, you've been holding a lot in. You don't have to have a big explosion to let it all out. You know what's going to help be a good channel for it? You Earth signs really need to breathe this month. I had to do that in the Capricorn video as well. Stability. And this is a much softer emperor as well, because there's the two of cups with it. When you avoid pettiness, trickery, protecting yourself, protecting your feelings this month, and you instead give in to a sense of softness, of sort of slowly sharing them at an equal rate, at an equal rate. The thing about the Two of Cups is, is there's equality implied with it. When you have the Two of Cups, it's not one person doing all the work. It's not an offer. It's not a possibility. It's equal footing. Equal opportunity. Um, to share, to love, to engage. Especially when it's tied to this if any of y'all are dealing with an Aries in particular right now, you are really in your feels over them too. Like, like, like for real. Like you are whoo, swept away. And I think if you want to open up to them, I think that you should. I think that that's actually going to help the relationship ten times more than staying guarded. Uh, particularly with Aries. Aries don't do well when you try to guard yourself emotionally with them. Fire signs in general, but Aries in particular, they're just very, they're very honest. 
that's something that can be a little bit harder for the more analytical signs, one like yourself, to understand. But, like, you put yourself out there, you're forward, you're straight with them, they love it, they appreciate it. They have a hard time understanding, like, ulterior motives. Not that they have a hard time understanding it. They have a hard time understanding why it's necessary. Everyone says Aries are dumb. They're not dumb. They're just very childlike. They don't take themselves or life quite as seriously as everyone else. So it kind of sends across the wrong vibe. But yeah, if you are involved with an Aries at all right now, open up. Share a little bit with them. They're amenable to it. They're open. Keeping everything inside, keeping everything compressed within you is not really, it's not, you just, you're not doing well with it. Open up a little, it's okay, you won't die, I swear, please, come see us, Virgo, come hang out with us. You guys are so fun, and funny, and, and beautiful, and witty, and sharp, and just great to be around. You guys are so lively, very well liked when you let yourself come out and play, when you kind of show yourself off a little bit. So do it. 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 Stop hiding. Please. Really, I mean, that's what the middle of the month is asking you to. Implement a little bit more structure into your life. When we are prone to bouts of anxiety, we live within the structure of mental torment instead of a productive stru structure that can allow us to have some sort of freedom and enjoyment. By the end of the month, you guys are still struggling with the concept of being open and pursuing what you want with a passion, or if you should be defensive and closed off. You can be open and pursue what you want with a passion, a lot of passion, a lot of payoff. A lot of passion, a lot of payoff. Or you can be defensive and it will lead to more anxiety. The anxiety that you have trapped yourself in the Eight of Swords will get worse. You will be a nervous fucking wreck by the end of the month. It won't be getting better. You will feel like curling up in a bed every day alone. That is not a good way to go into Scorpio season. It is intense. It is full of brooding. It is full of emotion. It can be. It can also be a lot of fun. You can also be out in the open um, slaying it with savage comebacks and witty remarks and a lot of uh, sensuous fun. A lot of passion and a lot of sensuous fun. Um, don't be so defensive. Open up a little bit. You don't have to break the dam. Just open it a little bit. Let it flow. If it overflows, you're going to end up like this. You guys can stay in this for a very long time. You guys can stay in this for years. You're one of the signs that's really good at thinking, but when you're really good at thinking, you can think too much. And when you think too much, you end up here. The only thing worse than here is the Ten of Swords. Do you want to be the Ten of Swords? Want to do readings in November? Please don't. I don't want that for you guys. You don't want it for you guys. Open up a little bit, softly, slowly. Bottom of the deck. Hanged man. Six of swords. Wheel of fortune. The tower. Stop freaking out. <laughs> Nine of wands. We're going a little deeper than normal. And look. Look at the little guy I was just talking about. Ten of swords. You have the opportunity to see a higher perspective and start moving forward with that knowledge. Not really waiting around or staying stuck. Or you can freak out, feel overwhelmed, and really reach the pinnacle of thinking too much. Too much thinking with no action is going to be very difficult off on you for the long term. Also, with that in mind, this Emperor and Two of Cups again, action. Cards of action. Cards of putting yourself out there sharing, sharing your idea. Do you have a project coming up at work? Pitch that idea. Especially if it's something that you feel very deeply about and that you see a lot of long-term success. You guys are f ridiculously freaking talented at projecting success. So stop feeling so afraid of what people are going to say because if you have passion and your mind behind it, 
it's very close to being unstoppable. So if you have an idea that you're about to pitch at work, go for it. Stop being afraid. The only reason that you're afraid right now is you. The only threat right now is you to yourself. Things can start turning in your favor. Or you can still be defensive. You can still hold all of the water in the dam, but it's going to overwhelm you. It's going to overwhelm you either way. Not either way, but if you go through with that plan of keeping everything to yourself. Open up a little bit, slowly, gradually, in equal measure to those around you. I know you guys struggle with that because a lot of times opening up can... Especially if you deal with a fire sign or a water sign, opening up can kind of feel like a very intense process. Um, and you guys don't do well with the idea of someone dumping emotions on you, but that's not all that there is to opening up. There are many ways to open up. There are many ways in which you can share of yourself and share your emotions in a very moderated fashion. You don't have to keep it all inside, but do let some of it out because if not, it's going to pinnacle you into, it's going Pinnacle you. That's not a good way to phrase that. We're just going to move on. This uh, tower, Nine of Wands, Ten of Swords, over here. You don't want to be experiencing that going into Scorpio season. That's going to be really intense for you, especially with the Venus retrograde in Scorpio. That's going to upend a lot of your love life, particularly. A lot of the things that you're passionate about. So start to sort of let a lot of that out this month. Gently, softly. Libra season will be good for that. Libra season will be a way to help kind of massage that out. Um, just take it slowly. Take it one step at a time. Don't take yourselves too seriously. Not when you can have a lot of success. Especially this month. This month can definitely lay the groundwork for a lot of success towards the end of this year. All right. That's what I got for you guys. Um, that was a particularly blunt video, I know. But I say it with love. So <laughs> that's about all I can do Then see where it lands. I do love you guys, though, if you've made it this far. Wholeheartedly. Sweet Virgos, asshole Virgos. All of them. All of them. You guys are beautiful. You guys got a lot that's coming to you in the next couple of months. So start to open up a little bit. I love and appreciate you guys wholeheartedly. Bye.